Hello everybody. In this video, I will try to show you how easy it is to install Security One Onion. I had a previous blog where I did a step-by-step -step guide without a recording and this will be added to that blog. So first thing that we need to do yeah, is to have the VCM prepared, to have the networking part in there, the security list, network security groups and so on. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new virtual machine. It's going to use Ubuntu as the operating system. Okay, so let me give it a name. I think I have security onion. Yeah, and here you can select the availability domain and you can change it to a different one if you want. You click change image and let's select the image as the Ubuntu 20.0. Okay. Canonical Ubuntu OS version 20.04. I don't care about the image build. I think the lastest one will I will leave it with the patches installed. I will select the image. I will increase a little bit the resources for this image. Yeah, and also I recommend if you want to use it for production for your stock environment and so on, leave it a little bit higher. For Vinix, yeah, will be uh, allowed to be created secondary Vinix, yeah, after uh, uh, you attach multiple ones here yeah, multiple vcpus and sonia you can also increase it based on your need so in my case i only need an additional one okay now the vcns as i told you at the beginning you need to have it created before or you can create it right now on the fly you're gonna select i'm gonna select uh, in here the subnet that i want to use in here i'm gonna use a private subnet for this um, uh, security onion instance okay i'm gonna upload my private public key in here and i'm going to use my private key to log into it okay i will increase the custom boot size yeah so in here i'm going to put it let's say around 500 gb as you can see yeah, i have 25 uh, uh, iops with this one so what i can also do i can increase a little bit uh, the number of uh, vpus yeah so with all of these in here, I can go also check the Oracle Cloud Agent uh, if I want to enable vulnerability scanning, management agent is an Ubuntu, and I don't remember exactly if all of these are, let's say, covered, yeah, but let's enable them. SSH, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work for this um, machine, so I'm gonna connect directly on uh, from a Windows machine that is in the same subnet, and I'll press create. I will pause it for a few seconds yeah, until uh, the machine is provisioned and I'll continue with the installation of Security Onion. So the machine is provisioned, so this is the private IP where I need to connect, I'll copy it, I'll open Mobile Xterm, I'll create a new session in here, SSA session, I'm gonna put the IP, I'll specify the username as Ubuntu, advanced SSH settings, private key, select the private key for the public one that we uploaded yeah i can go bookmark and in here give it a name to know where i'm trying to connect as you can see i have security onion in here i'm connected to that machine now what we need to do right now is to start to install the prerequisites for the security onion so let's start with sudo apt minus y install git and curl yeah so both of them are already installed so that's good let's go we do an sudo apt update okay so this was done also and let's do an upgrade yes let's approve it Okay, until this one is finished in here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the instance, yeah, to the security on Ubuntu machine. I'll click on attach Vinix, I'll click create Vinix, and I'll attach another one, yeah. So this will be used for VTAP. Yes, I'll be able to mirror the traffic that I have from my networking directly to this security onion machine. Okay, so let me put it again in a private subnet. It can be in the same subnet or in the second, let's put in the secondary one that I have in here. I don't care about skip source destination or uh, network security groups at this point. Okay, so now I'll click create and save changes. Okay, so this is almost 
dann. I will pause it until it's finished. Okay, so it was much faster to do that. So next step that I need to do in here, yeah, after update everything, yeah, let's see if my network is in here. As you can see, I also have ENS5 right now. Yeah, so it is appear ENS3, it is the initial one, and it is the secondary VNIC that I have added. So that means at this point, I'm able to go forward with the installation. I'll git clone yeah, the security onion repository in here. Okay, it's gonna take a few more seconds. Okay, see the security onion now. Yeah, in here you can see that we have multiple uh, folders and uh, executables. So what I can do at this point, let's go with sudo, yeah, bash, so minus setup, yeah, and press tab, network, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so at this point, yeah, it's, I'm going to the installation menu of the security onion. So yeah, do you like to continue? Of course I want to continue. I'm gonna go into uh, evaluation mode at this point, but you are entitled to use your own uh, uh, option in here. And in here, yeah, we need to press agree. Yeah, so we agree with the Elastic Sack uh, new licensing model. Okay, let me give it the name, yeah. Enter the host name, yeah, it's gonna be Security Onion, as it was before. Okay, let's let's change it. I think I also have another, so let me put it in here. Sock, yeah, let's leave it as a name as a sock one. Uh, do install network assume uh, interface. Yes, let's continue with it. DHCP, anyway, we leave it in here. So it is the management uh, uh, NIC. Yeah, so it is gonna be ENS1, ENS3, sorry. Okay, so after that, uh, we're gonna have to define uh, yeah, as a direct connection to the internet in here. So until the pre-flight it is finished, yeah, I'll press pause on the recording. Okay, so now we have uh, our second uh, pop-up related to the network. So I'll use ENS5, yeah, for monitoring. So the VTAP will point to this uh, instance later. I'll press OK and now OS patch schedule because it is a testing I can leave it uh, automatic installation so yeah Zeek, Elasticsearch, Kibana everything else will be installed automatically so in here I will leave uh, my home network all the side of blocks that are allowed uh, to connect into this one so yeah I'm OK also with this range they are giving it all of them are private and what I want to install yeah I want to install everything because this is for a demo so I want to see all the capabilities of uh, this uh, security onion uh, setup okay I will leave the default docker IP range I don't care about it uh, and in here I will enter my email address yeah that will be used to log in into the um, security onion Okay, let me enter a password in here. Okay, password doesn't match. Okay, so how you want to access the uh, interface? I want to do it by uh, using the IP. It's yes, much safer to use the IP at this point because I don't uh, um, change any DNS name and so on in there. So I can go with this one, but I can also use it later. Uh, I'll use SO allow. Yeah, so it is a command that will allow other machines to use it. Yeah, so in here, even if it is on private, yeah, I will use the same one. So I will not have additional things. I'll press yes again. And now the installation is starting itself. I will pause it again until the end of it. Or additional prompts. Okay, so now the installation was finished. It took around 50 minutes. You press OK. Yeah. And also, uh, SO allow was a little run in there. Let's try to connect to the page.
Okay, so the machine is still restarting. It's gonna take a few more seconds. I'll pause it again until it's up running. Okay, so I was able to reconnect the machine. As you can see, the name of the machine was changed. Uh, in here, the command that runs as the allow was already run by the um, installation scripts. Okay, now the page is loaded. I click continue, not save. So it still looks like there's some uh, of the services are running in the backend. So we still need to wait a little bit more for them to start. So yeah, I'll pause it again until everyone is up running. Okay, so all the services have started in the backend. I will use the username I've used there. Enter the password and press login. So now, congratulations. You have the security onion up running. So what you can do, you can start um, doing the security onion training if you want. Yeah, so these are very good trainings in there. Uh, also, you can go uh, and look at different posts yeah, on the internet and gonna see how to use it. I'll use different, uh, let's say, blog posts, yeah, to use cases where you can uh, mirror traffic from uh, OCI, uh, VLANs, uh, you can go and, uh, um, let's say, import pickups, you yeah, have to do malware hunting and so on, yeah, so I'll try to use also uh, the security onion instance that I have in here to showcase multiple uh, um, SOC use cases for you. I hope you enjoyed this short video and see you on the next one. Thank you.